All right, guys, I got something cool to show you. Somebody tagged me on Instagram. I didn't realize this thing was out like this. I'm pretty stoked. Let me show you. So it's the Runner's 2023 calendar, Runner's World. But let me show you what's inside. Let's get to, to April. Look at this. It's my quote. Hurry to push myself as far as I possibly can to encourage others to change for the better. Sean Van Eckert ran to overcome drugs and alcohol addiction and lost 216 pounds. So cool. It's gonna be a long run day. So I decided to make my Mondays and Wednesdays long runs. Uh, and on these days I will be doing also strength training uh, later in the afternoon. So my schedule will be like Monday, long run. And a long run is anything 20 or more. Uh, and then you have Tuesday will be shorter runs like tip of runs, uh, pretty much anything under double digits. Uh, Wednesday, another long run. Uh, Thursday, short run. Friday, short run. Uh, and then Saturday and Sunday, nothing. And my strength training days will be, uh, I said Dre's, I don't know what I'm doing. Will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yes, I'm doing strength training during my long run days, like the two, but I feel like that maximizes what I'm trying to do, have my legs fatigued and be able to still push through whatever needs to be pushed through. Cause I feel like ultra running is more of a mental game uh, I mean, it is physical, but it's definitely mental. And I definitely like to, <clears throat> like my shorter runs, I, of course I push myself at a faster pace. So hopefully that will transfer into my longer runs that will make my longer runs, of course, faster, uh, which is the goal. But during my long runs, I do try to not to go slower than uh, you know like a 17 minute pace uh, that would be the slowest uh, and I, what I do is I try to keep it consistent but I try to keep it as low as possible where I can sustain for hours at a time I don't want to run like a 9 minute mile and then be burnt out and then have to run 18 minute miles for the rest of the 100 or something uh so i try to find that sweet spot now uh that i can, can keep the pace between like a minute or not so like a 15 minute pace is where i'm at right now that i can hold for the 100 uh if i go up into a 16 or 17 which is fine but i'll i can kind of hold that 15 and i know that I won't have to go any slower than a 17. So eventually, if I keep this training how I'm doing, by next year, my body will be even better in shape. Uh, my endurance will be higher and I'll be able to keep, say like a 13 minute pace the whole way or a 12 minute pace, uh, which would be awesome. Uh, Cause for a short distance, to totally understand, but 100, it's just, it's really hard to keep that pace for so long, especially when you stop into aid stations, grabbing food, you're eating while you're running, using the bathroom and all that. So I think definitely, like when these long races like this, I have to strategize what parts of a power hike and keep it really fast. Uh, what parts will I kind of jog? What parts will I run faster? And all that comes into play. I like to power hike during the time I'm eating. So I don't stop because I'm not as fast as the other runners. So I don't really have time to <clears throat> like sit down and like relax in a chair. Uh, maybe I'll sit in a chair just to change my socks, but then I have to be gone again. A lot of runners get time to rest like during the night portion, maybe take a quick nap. Uh, I'm just not fast enough yet. So to hit the 
the time uh, before it gets cut off because there is cut off times um, <clears throat> during these races. You have to get the checkpoints at a certain time and of course you have to finish at a certain time. So I feel like eventually I'll be able to be faster. So I'll have that little bit of cush where I can rest. Um, but that's why I like the 17 minute pace. Because if I'm power hard, hiking, uh, eating, back to running, I can keep that. Uh, it's not too over overwhelming. Like I can still conversate and talk. Like right now I'm running 14 minutes and I'm just tired of talking. And then when I put the phone away, I'll pick the pace up a little bit more because I'm not running, of course, 100. I'll probably run like 20 something today. So I have that lead, a little leeway of picking up my speed, practicing, stuff like that. So probably I'm rambling, but I'm trying to explain as best I can. It's just like conventional track. I don't know. I came up with this myself. I don't have like a running coach or anything like that. So this kind of works for me. And, uh, you know, I'm still a heavier guy, you know. So getting that weight off by November, chills in the wind, man. I said we're gonna drop 60 pounds by November. And we're on the right path, guys. Can't wait to show you guys the results. Finished up my run, uh, had to rinse off, making up some food. I'm gonna do like, it's like a pasta, um, which are tuna. So it's like a pasta salad kind of deal. Uh, picking up V and then 4.30, we're gonna do a family CrossFit. Uh, so it's gonna be a good day guys. Uh, well, see you at the CrossFit gym. <laughs>